So far this company, Google, can attribute most of its success to free labor from the public. And that was in their branding effort. Especially when we all use the term Google as a generic household term. This image you're seeing is a recent job that was done to the service empire. Recently they put out a new program allowing people to map their surroundings. In other words, Google doesn't have to rely on their engineers to put the locations of businesses, streets, and other landmarks. But now their own client, their own consumers, will be the ones that do that work for them. So as they have developed a system that allows their customers to be their employees, this is some of the complications they're running into. Of course, this is a outline of the White House. There's another picture that appeared. Of a Android mascot being on Apple. So, you know, somebody's getting creative out there and they understand that, you know, hey, Either we're going to make this a social thing, or we're going to make it a private thing. But if it's going to be private, you know, there, there's got to be some kind of rules to the game. And as we see it, this there's no rules. This is anarchy. As far as, you know, the British want people to start identifying tigers so that they can work on their facial recognition programs. Now they have these compute these uh, cameras set up all over the place. You see them on major and mostly uh, street corners in uh, poor neighborhoods. Uh, you see those 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 half uh, circle bubble looking white and usually white white and black or all white cameras. Those are in the this grid, this digital grid, the man beast. It's all connected. And they're developing it so it's going to have the facial recognition. And it's going to be charging you with the crime based on its own interpretation. So now man is relying on this machine to decide his fate. And we have some people that are willing enough to stand in the way.